A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sohan. And this is Atri. And we welcome you to the Smart Power Talk 2020, hosted by the Smart Society USA. Brought to you by IEM, UEM, International Innoveal, Club of IEM Kolkata, Rotary International Club of Silicon Valley, IEM Toastmaster, and Business Upside. Today, we have with us an amazing set of speakers. They will be delivering speeches on different topics. They will be impacting the crowd with their experience and with their knowledge. So without further delay, let's get into the show. Next up, we'll be calling up on the CEO of Executive Coach. He is a corporate trainer and an executive mentor. He helps businesses to grow. Well, so let's call upon none other than Christopher Salim. Hi, this is Chris Salem. I'm an executive coach, a business advisor for corporations and small businesses, and also a professional speaker. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the power of routine and goal setting. I'm going to share with you a personal story from struggle to success and how the use of power of routine and goal setting helped me to find sustainability in my success throughout my career. To give you a little background, you know, in the past, I've always had a strong worth ethic. I was always driven in some way. The issue was that I didn't, couldn't find a sustainable pattern to achieve this success. Oftentimes, I would have this glimpses of success where I'd be in the, in the groove, in the zone, only to see it kind of go away. I really never had really specific goals at that time. I always thought that I could pretty much do it, you know, at that time, on the go, shooting from the hip. And while I was really good at relating with people and engaging people, oftentimes I would lose that focus and momentum. I was operating from expectations, and that often led to issues that went uh, unfulfilled and caused some friction in my relationships with clients. Many times I would start businesses only see, to see success momentarily and then later for it to go out of business. I always thought I had all the answers here, that I didn't need to write everything down. I could kind of do what I wanted, being spontaneous, and that everything would come together with my hard work alone. Anytime I face struggles or obstacles, it caused me to be angry. And as a result of that, that often led to strain of relationships, ones that I had developed over time to only be strained by the anger. I didn't know how to handle adversity. I didn't know how to handle setbacks and challenges. And oftentimes when they happen, and they always do, I didn't deal with it in a positive way. And as a result of that, I could not find sustainability in building success. In this case, this was in my sales career. Now I had started different businesses. In this case, I had a health and supplement, a health supplement business back in my, when I was in my twenties. And I wasn't able to really sustain that for more than a year before it went out of business. I had success momentarily. These were people I knew from the gym. These are people that I had come to know over the years. But anytime when there were certain other people coming into the industry, competition, any challenges, like I said, I would, it would only go the other way. I didn't know how to handle that adversity, that challenge. And it finally dawned on me that after all these setbacks and all these challenges, that I had to do something different. I just didn't know what to do. I usually didn't have patience. I like to do everything on the fly. But something caught my attention one day when I began to study certain people that were having success that had, had similar backgrounds to me where they would have some success and only lose it. 
And I began to study these individuals. These were everyday people, people perhaps you don't even know. There were people like Jack Canfield. And as a result of that, it was not that I was looking to become them. I always knew that I was going to become my, whoever I was. But I needed to find what that pattern would be for me to find sustainability, to go through challenges and setbacks in a more positive way, not to react, but to be proactive. how I could grow from adversity, how I could grow from challenges. And I began to realize that it all came through developing what we call a routine. So what's a routine? Well, you may have a routine now, but is it the question is, is it serving you or not? I can say that in my past, whatever routine I had, which really wasn't a routine, it wasn't working. The health supplement business went under. I got involved in other projects, selling and representing other companies' products to have some success and only see it disappear. If I was going to see different, if I was going to achieve different results, I had to become different. I had to become more. And as a result of that, I began to look at routine. And I realized that with routine, there was one thing that was going to be the glue that made this stick. Actually, two things. That was discipline and consistency. And while I had struggled for throughout my 20s, again, doing everything on the fly, not having any structure or routine, I began to see that there were certain things that I was not doing that I needed to do to develop that foundation. So think about a house. If you want to build a beautiful home, it's got to have a strong, solid foundation to sustain itself. That beautiful home won't last with a faulty foundation. That's why everything I touched would have success only to, be, only to crumble down because I didn't have that successful foundation. It had too many cracks in it. So I began to look at what could be the difference maker in me developing a routine that I could start to build that foundation to have success and to build on it. Well, I found the power of meditation and journaling, which changed the quality of my life. It was for the first time that, even though it was very difficult for the first three months, I white knuckled it and used discipline to get me through. I had race mind. For me to sit down for a period of time was a daunting task. But I knew if things were going to be, had to be different, I had to do things different. And while I persevered using discipline to get me through and getting into the routine of meditation and journaling, I began to become present for the first time in my life, not operating in the past and the future. I began to think clearly. I began to see things differently. And as a result of that, that began to, I began to see this on paper because I was journaling without overanalyzing or overthinking. I began to see the things that were blocking me or things that I was not doing, thus why I wasn't having that success. I began to really trust being in the moment, trusting the process, allowing the results to be a byproduct of that process. And I incorporated other things into that routine. Waking up early, making my bed, working out on a consistent basis, reading every day, something relevant to something that was personal to me or what I was working on. And I found something else that was also the difference maker. While discipline and consistency were the, were the, the two drivers to develop my success foundation, I also found the power of goal setting, but not just writing down goals, writing down goals that were very specific, that were very clear. They were detailed and they were broken down to everything that I knew, letting go of what I didn't know. They were time oriented. Now, many people might have heard SMART goals. SMART being, you know, S being specific, M being measurable. 
A being achievable, R being relevant to what you know what your goals are, and T being time oriented. I also knew I had to do it differently. I had to do it better than just smart being smart. I had to exceed, not just achieve, but to make sure that I exceeded in achieving if I was going to see sustainable success at the next level. It was writing down everything that I would do each day, each week, each quarter, each month, each quarter, and how that would roll up to meet those goals over a period of time. Now, I didn't know everything that I needed to do to accomplish something, but I had spent my working career always getting caught up in the things that, that I couldn't control, what I didn't know, only to lead uh, a, a life of frustration, being overwhelmed, operating from fear, having no specific goals, having no game plan or foundation. And when I was able to combine that foundation with goal setting that was broken down very specifically, I had something now to follow. I had a clearer picture of where I was going, a roadmap, a blueprint that I could build to achieve whatever that was important to me. And as a result of that, I was able to become a better decision maker, to take more calculated risks as a result of it. I began to see opportunities and blessings disguised in the challenges as a result of that foundation and that in goal setting. I found a way that I could map out something that I could identify with each and every day and then review them learning to control what I can, letting go of what I can't. And there is so, so much power in that. I've been doing this now for over, say, 21 years. And while I did have some success in my 20s, it wasn't sustainable, like I said before. In the last 21 years, I've been able to accomplish a lot to become financially free being involved in a company that went public, become very wealthy as a result of it. Ability to represent other companies from a, as, from a consultant level, selling their products and services to achieve much success, not only monetarily, but also what I gave in, in terms of giving without expectation and receiving without resistance. Now, you heard that statement I just said, giving without expectation, receiving without resistance. That was all something, also a statement that was born from the power of routine and goal setting. I began to look at trusting the process, free from expectation tied to outcomes, allowing the results to be a byproduct of what I gave, what I put out there in terms of value and to be open to receive no matter where it came from. And that opened up the flow of positive energy to bring more prosperity and abundance into my life. To strive for work-life harmony that I never had before because it was all work, no, no, all work, no play, no personal life. And I began to see improvements in my relationships with myself and other people, having more time because I learned to value my time versus manage it. I wasn't busy and not productive anymore. I, I was now laser focused in getting things done that really meant something. Making these shifts through the power of found the foundation, the routine, through goal setting has allowed me to achieve so much success in terms of what I've become personally, following my heart, serving my purpose, and allowing everything else, the money, any material things, whatever that, whatever is important to you. It was just a byproduct of all that. So I ask yourself, this idea of the power of goal setting, building a foundation from a routine, 
How could that change the quality of your life, your career? What are you doing now that's serving you or not serving you? What can you become to be more by being the example for others to do the same by giving without expectation, receiving without resistance? I share with you this information to empower you to draw your own conclusion what that means to you. Is this an idea that you could wrap your hands around and do something for yourself? Developing a routine and getting more specific and detailed with your goals to follow each day, each week, each month, each quarter to roll up over time to achieve all the things that you aspire to do. The idea is being shared with you to make that decision for yourself. If something isn't working, that may be something that has to be done differently to become more. I could speak from experience that I was able to do that. And while I've had many setbacks and challenges you know, over the 21 years, more than I had before, that routine and that, those goals, doing it in a more specific way, have allowed me to persevere, be resilient, and walk through fear rather than avoid it. And to always come out stronger and even bigger than I've ever had before by going through it. So I leave you with this. Decide what you, th you get from hearing what I've stated today about the idea of putting a routine and goal setting into your life. Try it for a week, try it for a month and see what difference it can make in your life and your career. Have a great day. Mr. Salim, thanks a lot for enlightening our crowd with your immense amount of knowledge. Thanks a lot for giving us a perspective on the corporate world. Thanks a lot for attending our event and thanks a lot for being a part of it. Have a great day. So finally, we are at the end of our session. Our speakers delivered amazing power talks and shared the life stories and their experiences and their success stories. I hope the audience and the entire youth who ever watched us today gathered some inspiration and knowledge from these power talks. We would like to thank our amazing set of speakers their journeys, their stories have inspired each one of us. I would also like to thank our amazing set of audiences. Without them, this event won't be possible. Thanks a lot, each one of you. Goodbye and good night.